So uh, this shiur is our Sunday night shiur. We decided to call this shiur Min Hagei Ariya Kadosh. Why did I decide to do this shiur? I'll tell you why. I was very upset. Ask me why. Why? Thank you. Uh, because, you know, some tzaddik of the community, you know, Sfaradim, they always have to speak about the Ariya Kadosh. Whatever they do, they can't help themselves. But doesn't mean they always saying the right stuff. So, you know, Hosha'ana Rabba. In Hosha'ana Rabba, uh, Sfaradim have the minhag to stay up all night. <laughs> and as they stay up, then they, they stay up, they read Sefer Dvarim, as the Ariya Kador says, until midnight. And then from midnight on, they learn, they say Selichot, certain, certain, certain uh, Tehillims. And in the morning, they do Hosha'anot, right? Shacharit. Halel, Nyanuim, uh, Hosha'an. So one rabbi got up and said, Listen, people, he said, You guys are not doing it right. Why? Net. Net. Is uh, seven in the morning. It was seven o'clock that day. Because we were all starting to daven at five o'clock. We were davening half an hour early. So we're all davening with the Avad. So he was making a pilpul. Maybe we should do. The hakafot before Shmona Yisrael, before Shacharit, and start Shacharit later, and do Halal later. That way we do at least Shmona Yisrael on time. But Ned, he was making a whole pilpul shiur over there. And he was quoting the Ari, he was learning it from the Ari, and I was ashamed to say that some of the stuff that I was confused myself, that he was asking me this weeks ago, and he took me by the wrong lashon. And uh, basically this rabbi, a lot of people listened to him and I felt like he came up with the wrong maskanot according to the Ari. But what he said was wrong. What he said halakhically according to the Ari was wrong. That he should do the hakafot. He said you should do the hakafot before shachars. Start shacharit. Do uh, shmona yisra by nets. And then do na'anuim halal. And then just chick chack walk around the Lervacha de Milta, walk around the, the Teva seven times. Yeah, because you already did the whole things before. Just walk around seven times, Lervacha de Milta, and you're good to go. Gam lefi apshat, gam lefi ari. And I saw this and I said to myself, I didn't text him, I didn't tell him anything, but I said to myself, I disagree with his maskana. And he had a reason why he said it's psha from the Ariya Kadosh, but I understood from what he was saying that he never learned all the Ariya Kadosh. He just took bits and pieces and came up with maskanot. Now it's true, that's the way we learn poskim. By poskim, that's how we learn. You open up a Bet Yosef. It's, like, it's not like you learn the whole Sefer, your Rabbeinu Yerucham. It's not like you learn all the Samag and the Samak. It's not like you learn all the Rosh. You take bits and pieces and the Sugya. Right? But And the Ari, you can't say that. You have to know all the Ari before you come to a Maskana from his name. So therefore, I felt it's very important to start from Berchot HaShachar till the end of Shara Kavanot, Pri Haim. What are all the Maskanot of the Ari? And maybe Rizot Hashem, we can get to some kind of Maskanot what does the Ariya Kadosh hold the fee, this book at least, Patara Daba, which is an amazing safer. This is like a mini Shulchan Aruch, the fee at least according to the Ari. Let's start. So it says the Patara Daba, he's quoting over here, Shara Kavanod, page one, Daf Aleph, on the top. Hagdama achat ktana, da, ki kol tfila hi bolam ha Every prayer is in the world of Asiya, besot tfila le'ani. It's a big kasha. First of all, what's the kasha? We know that all our tefillot are reaching to Olam Ha'atzilut. How can we think of here that every tefillah is an Olam Ha'asiyah? That's what Shara Kavanot says. He says, Besot tefillah le'ani. And ani, the word ani is another word for, for the world of Asiya. The word ani, like we learn in Shara Yora, this and that, yeah, Malchut. Malchut is Asiya. Ani is Asiya. So he says, every tefillah is in the world of Asiyah. 
השואלת צרכיה, דשכינה כביכול, asks for its needs, ומתפללת אל הזה, and prays to the system above it. עניות העין. אה? עניות העין. עין. אוסו, אוסו המלכות. So the Shechina, the Malchut, is praying to Zah. The fifth system gets its sustenance from the fourth system. V'simanaich, v'ani tefila. Not only there is tefila le'ani, but also the pasuk is v'ani tefila. V'ani is also a word that denotes the Malchut. V'ani, and also tefila is also the name of the Malchut. So we have Tfila as Malchut, Ani is Malchut, and Ani is Malchut. Vezeh atam shechol ha'shon Tfila nechtab batar b'lashon shefichat nefesh. That's why every time he says in the Torah, HaKedoshah, when it talks about prayer, it always talks as if David HaMelech or Moshe Rabbeinu is spilling out his nefesh. Because remember, we have nefesh, ruach, neshama, chaya, yichida, and nefesh is also Malchut. So therefore, what is he spilling out? His malchut. Kemo sh'amaya katu ve'eshpoch et nafshi lifnei Hashem. And I have spilled out my nefesh in front of Hashem. Ve'hi b'chinat malchut da'atzilut. And this is the aspect, the correspondence of the malchut, asiya, of atzilut, o asiya, the regular asiya, asiya da'asiya, ha'nikra nefesh, which is called nefesh. So what do we have over here, a maskana? That every tefillah always is in the sefirat ha-malchut. Correct? You always go, it means you're starting from the below, right? <coughs> the malchut, you have to be the agent of the malchut, as if the malchut is mitlabesh betoch echa, and you're asking from above you, the shefa to come down. Karbanot huh? is also malchut. Karbanot is also malchut, yeah, of course. And therefore, we have over here certain words that you see that are connected to Sfirat HaMalchut, Tefillah. Ani, Ani, Nafshi, Veshpoch Alaych Nafshi, Veshpoch Et Nafshi, Lifnei Hashem. What's Lifnei Hashem? Before Za. Hashem is the Za. Lifnei Hashem is the Shechina. You understand? So Yud Kei, Vav Kei. Lifnei Hashem, the Hey that comes right before the Vav, if you're going backwards. So the set is calling Yeah, it's all quite, right now we just read Shara Kavanot. This is Shara Kavanot, okay? So let's draw this out real quick, so there shouldn't be any misconceptions. It says, here, that we, he says every tefillah is in the world of Asiya. That means even if a person is praying by himself, he's just taking uh, a Hidbodedut session, and he's davening, he's in the world of Asiya. Tefillah equals Asiya. Asiyah doesn't mean Asiyah HaTachtona, the lowest Asiyah. So you have Atzidut, Bria, Yetzira, and Asiyah. When I say that Tfilah is an Asiyah, it doesn't necessarily mean this Asiyah. Because in Atzidut itself, it has Atzidut, Bria, Yetzira, and Asiyah. Abiyya the Atzidut. Bria itself has. Atzilut, Biria, Yitzira, Asiya. Yitzira has. Atzilut, Biria, Yitzira, Asiya. Asiya has. Atzilut, Biria, Yitzira, and Asiya. So therefore, my Tfila could either be an Asiya Tachtona, or it could be, if I get to the highest level, an Asiya, the Atzilut. Common denominator, all Tfila is in the world of Malchut. Okay? And Malchut is called a Tfila. It's also called an Ani. It's also called Ani. Tefillah le'ani ki ya'atof. And also, the world of Asiya is corresponding nefesh, right? Therefore, when it talks about tefillah inside the Torah, it also says, ve'ishpoch alaich nafshi. 
I'm taking out my nefesh, not ruchi, not uh, nishmati, not chayati or yechidati. It says, Beshpoch alayich nafshi. That nefesh, that correspondence of nefesh, is talking specifically on the malchut. And also what we learned in Shari Ora, that the malchut is called Amonai, Aleph, Dalet, Nun, Yud. Therefore, we start our Shmonai, so Amonai, Sefatai, Tiftach, Ufi, Agiti, Latecha. Because everything you have to go through, Sfirat HaMalchut, which is Sota Shechina, Ba'asuli, Mikdash, Veshachanti, Shechina, Veshachanti, Betocha. Okay? That's what the Shara Kavanot says. So, so, so far what we're learning, that everything has to start with the Shechina. L'Shem Yechud Kutsha B'Yichu U'Shechinte. We will get to Malchut Atzil. We're going to learn that really everything starts from Asiyah Tachtona. Really. How does it go up? Ah. We're going to learn it now. It says over here. Asur le'adam litpalet filato be'itzavon. A person can't pray when he's depressed or sad. A source says the Ari. What's the source? Look at Aleph on the bottom. Yosef Abba, under Yosef Abba. You see that? A sur la Adam. Ha'atzvut goremet miniat ha'avoda. Atzvut causes the lack of work. Tfila. Vekiyum ha'mitzvot ubitul ese katora vekavrat ha'tefila. It not only does sadness cause the stopping of prayer and the doing of mitzvot also stops the learning of Torah and kavanat ha-tfila u-mevatelet machshava tova la-avodet Hashem and it stops the right kavana, the machshava to serve Hashem v'hi yashar hat-chalat girul hasatat ha-yetzer hara afilu im hu tzadik baroto ki en lo to'elet ba-avoda ha-biyoto yisurim alav even if you have a good reason to be depressed, you have Yusuri Emanuel, the sadness is showing you why are you sad. He says to you, why are you davening? You see, it's not helping you. That idea where he tells you, what's the point of you davening? You see, it's not helping you, which is a good taina. It causes you itself the worst part, that not to daven anymore, not to learn Torah anymore, not to have kavanah in Torah anymore. That's what the itzavon does to you. It tells you what's the point of you doing anything. Not that you're not doing anything. You're doing it. But what's the point of it? If you see it's not working. That's what Itzavon does to you. The he's gam- huh? Yosef Abba is quoting Galacha? No, he's quoting as a Shari Kedusha. This is all Shari Kedusha. The gam ki ba'elav b'derech chasidut even if the Itzavon comes to you in a righteous way. How sometimes it comes to you the Itzavon in a different way. It tells you, how dare you? Who are you to come in front of the Kavanot, in front of the Ari, using the Kavanot Ari? Who are you to use such a thing? You yourself, you know, your Shvilud, your this, your Averot, this is also... Tzata Satan. This is also Tzata Satan. Gam gorem metziluk ruach hakodesh me'alav. It also causes a lack of ruach hakodesh. Vahefech. But the opposite. Biyoto avet Hashem yar besimcha. Kamo shakatuv ivdut Hashem besimcha. When you serve Hashem besimcha. With simcha doesn't necessarily mean happiness. Simcha also means with cheshek. Cheshek means I have a want. I want to. This isn't saying I'm happy. I have a want. I'm, I'm excited. Excitement. Simcha could also mean excitement. Is there a word in Hebrew for excitement? No. Simcha is excitement. When you're be simcha, you get excited. When you serve Hashem with excitement. Ki ha-simcha mosif... Oh! Give on the dato. Ha-simcha mosifa... I probably got it from him from a long time ago. Just subconscious. Mosifa cheshek rav, it gives him cheshek. Ve'ahava, and love, lidabek bo yidbarach. To be connected to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, uchtiv, tachat asher lo vadashem b'simcha. 
Because you didn't serve Hashem B'Simcha, the Pasuk says. Ki avodai ni bi'itzavon, if the avodah of Hashem is with through sadness, depression, or without cheshek, without any will, without any want, without any point. Just do it again, mitzvat anashim melumada. I'm doing it because I'm going through the system. Dome le'evet ha'oved le'rabo be'panim atzut v'zavod. You're like a person that serves his master with a sad, melancholy face. Uchtiv, berkat Hashem hi ta'ashir. The blessing of Hashem gives richness. Velo yosif etzev iman. You should not have depression with it. Ki ha'itzavon. Hu nimshach. Look what he writes over here. Look at this crazy thing. Sadness and depression is from the Zohamat HaSamech Mem V'Anachash. That means that feeling of depression that one has, it means the Zohamat HaNachash is still inside of you from the time of Egel HaZahav. Everybody has it now. They all have the Zohamat HaNachash still. <coughs> what? <laughs> they don't have Zohamat HaNachash, they have Zohamat HaNachash. What? She'etil <laughs> ba'adam v'chava, that he put in Adam and chava. What's the, what's the raya? What did Hashem curse Adam with right after? That you should eat it with sadness, with hardship, with depression. You should work with depression. It wasn't a curse. It was a, that was the Zohar HaNachar. What does it say by Chava? By, uh, by you should have kids with Etziv. With hardship. Wow. Because it's, it's all Shari Kedusha. And that's the best way if you want Hashem to leave you. That's the best way. To do everything. But it's not a bracelet thing. You say it's, a, it's, a, it's from the Torah. It's from the Torah. Every Jew has to serve in Bishima, whether he's the Torah, Litai, Sfaradi, huh? Where in the Torah do we see it? In Sefer Bereshit, in Parshat Bereshit, Be'etzef Toldi Banim. Where do we see the... Tachat Asher Lo Avat Hashem B'Simcha, Parshat Ki Tavo. Towards the end of the Kladot. It says it over there. Okay, continuing Patra De'Ava. Asur Le'Adam Le'it Palel Tfiato Be'itzavon. You're now out of serve, you're now out of... Pray to Hashem with sadness, not sadness. Once again, it's talking about without cheshek, without any will, no, will desire. Huh? And therefore, your soul cannot get the or elion, which is coming down through your tefillah. But when you're doing vidui, and you're saying your averot. Astov lit atzev bilvan, you could have over there sadness. Aval bishar atfila, but in the rest of the tfila, nimshachlo nezek nifla gadol ali de atzvoto. You get a very big nezek damage from the itzavon. Aval tsarich laod lefanai drach hachna gedola beima veira. How do you have to serve Hashem? Behachna gedola. Putting yourself down. Beima. With fear and trepidation, Vayira. As you're doing that, has to be Basimcha. How does that how does that make sense? Simcha is only with Yira. How? Had you did you ever experience fear with Simcha? No Hama. He says over here. Tiha khna agidola. Be'ema ve'ira. You have to have a lot of hachna'a. Hachna'a means like a, a king is walking in, you're be'hachna'a gedola. You're like a slave in front of the king, a, a servant. Amnam t'yeh b'simcha yetera gedola. Do it that with simcha. Usually if a person is b'simcha, he's not be'hachna'a. If you're be'hachna'a, you're in yira. How do you have yira and hachna'a, yira and simcha at the same time? Pasuk says, Gilu, Ivdu et Hashem b'simcha, Ivdu et Hashem b'simcha, Gilu b'rada. David Amela says that. Gilu b'rada. Gilu b'rada. 
Be happy with fear. <laughs> How do you be happy with fear? So I'll give you an example from what I've seen in my... How do, you, how do you, how could you see such a kind of example? The example is you see it with kids. When they come to school for the first day of school and they go inside their class and their Rebbe still didn't come in yet. And they have their notebook ready. Everything is fresh, new papers, new binders, new clothing. They'll come to school fresh. The Rebbe comes in <coughs> and they all stand up. But they have bir ada because they're ready to do work for the whole year. At least for that day. <laughs> and then they sit down and they're all excited, <coughs> but they are fearful. What is the Rebbe going to say? Is he going to fail them? Is he not going to fail them? Is he going to minus their points off? Is he happy? Rabbi? Is he happy? <laughs> That's called, that's what Gilu Bir Ada is. If do it Hashem Besimcha, they're Besimcha, they're excited, it's the first day of school, they're Besimcha. But they have Bir Ada. They do it Bir Ada. That's the, that's the one example I could find of. And it's true because I think that a person has to serve Hashem not for Sahar Onish, but for Lasot Nachat Ruch Leosro. For the sake of doing Nachat Ruach to Hashem, it's a very big Avodah. Avodah Hashem. Yeah, that's the true Avodah Hashem. Uh, if you're going to learn the Reshit Chochmah of uh, Rabbi Liao Dividash, student of the Ramak, he says over there that the highest level of serving Hashem is La'asot Nachat Ruach Liyotzro. But Aleph, Yirat Haromimut. They say some big tzaddikim, they used to get to Yerat Shammai, not through learning Musar books, but at looking at pictures of, of nature, by going into nature. That was the greatest Musar book. Okay. It's not just what they do, it's Yerat, looking at the, looking at the, <coughs> and just looking at it gives you a, right? I saw this photoshopped video of the solar of the solar eclipse. You guys saw it? Yeah, the moon. On the Arctic Circle. I thought it was real. But imagine if that was real. Wow. Niflauta boy. Niflauta boy? Mamash, niflauta boy. It gives you a Yirataro Memut. Not like that kid who comes to school on the first day, that ninth grader, he has more Yirataro Memut than you. I've seen it, I know, I've been in the position. I'm there every year. I see the Gilubir Ada by them. The wanting to do good. The freshness. How was it? How was it afterwards? Tavakal <laughs> Bahashem, we say. <laughs> no, it depends. Listen, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of different uh, factors that factor in over here. I'm just saying Gilubir Ada. But I also see in school that uh, when the kids serve, when they do the work Be'it Savon, that's it. There could be no continuation in class. Once the itzavon hits, forget it. Getting the kid. We've had kids that were that used to leave school. That's it. They were done. They couldn't. They couldn't continue. They were just be itzavon. They decided to give up. Just decided to give up. It's tough. It's tough, but. For us, it's also tough because we have to get to that point every single morning. Afternoon, that means whatever Averot you did last night or in the morning, you have to come to shul, b'simcha, like ready to serve Hashem. Whatever Averot you did, it's a tough Avodah. That's why it's called, now you know why it's called Avodah? Why is Tfilah called Avodah? It's an Avodah. Now you know why Hasidim used to wait one hour before the Tfilah? To get ready to daven. Why after? Why after? To keep the power going. To keep the power going. The Arya Kador says. What Avodah? What Avodah? Okay. Going to the next day again. Yeah, that's the Avodah. That's the Avodah. The beauty is that in their tefillah, they used to fill a or elakut. 
they were in ecstasy during their tefillah. They were in hishtabchut ha-nefesh. You know what I mean? Mam hishtabchut ha-nefesh. To serve your, it's like a, a servant, a services master, with extra simcha, this is the words of the Ari. The, everything in the bold letters over here is the words of the Ari. In Shara Kavan. And if you serve your master, your avoda is considered disgusting to him. And uh, wow, you hear what he just said? You hear what he said? What I just said? Read it again. Begin. Shalom aleichem. וכמעט שעיקר המעלה והשלמות והשגת רוח הקודש תלויה בדבר הזה בין בעת תפילתו בין כשעושה איזה מצווה משאר המצוות וואו אתם יודעים מה שאתם אמרתם? לא, אתם לא אמרתם זה עוד אחד עוד אחד עוד And it's as if, he says, almost all the ma'ala and the shlemut and the reaching of Ruach HaKodesh, three things, ma'ala, shlemut, and Ruach HaKodesh, ma'ala, reaching the lofty levels, shlemut, the complete, Ruach HaKodesh is dependent on this, of what? Not to be the atzavut, eh? Did you, get, did you get what he just said? You didn't get what he just said? Yeah, yeah. Did you feel what he just said? Uh, yeah, I'm just You're trying to it? see how I'm gonna did use it. Did you get it. a little bit of goosebumps? A little bit. 10%. 15%. Just trying to figure out how <laughs> to get to that. Let's read Yosef Allah. Hasagad Ruach HaKodesh on Yosef. No, 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 on the top. Give me. Ve'araya. Miyakov, Bechir Shal. Do you do you like this safer? Do you are you feeling this safer? It's a good safer, right? Fire safer. Ve'arayah, ve'arayah, Miyakov, Bechir Avot. She nistalkam imenu shchina v'ruach hakodesh chaf bed shanim. The the raya from Miyakov Avinu that he lost the shchina for twenty two years. She pires Yosef imenu when he lost Yosef. O kishe samach. בבשורתו כתיב, ותחי רוח יעקב שרתה עליו רוח הקודש ריבונו של עולם. What did we just read over here? Only when he was, בשמחה he got רוח הקודש. And from here I find specifically the proof. For me this is the proof that to reach the מדרגת הרוח, נפש ומפרח יחידה, right? To reach מדרגת הרוח, תביא בשמחה. Beautiful. Do you see it? Yes or no? I see it. Vamru Rabotai Zad. Ain Shechina, the Divine Presence. Ve'ain Hanevu'ah, in the prophecy, Shora lo mitoch atzvut. Not through atzvut. Ve'ken matzino ve'elisha v'vnei ha'nevi'im. We see the same thing in Elisha and the sons of the Nevi'im. This is the Talmud HaChacham. Dikhti ve'haya kenagen ha'menagen. When they used to be sad, they used to bring music to bring them betoch simcha. Music should bring your person to simcha. Every time you see Nevi'im, you see musical instruments. It's tough to be simcha all the time. V'afilu b'chol avodat mitzvah v'tehila tzarech sheb t'chlit ha-simcha. Once again, what is he quoting? Sha'arei. Second line, and the Ari. Who used to laugh and be happy when he used to work to Philly? 
It is. Why are you so happy? Tefillin kaman achna. Daf lamed. I'm wearing tefillin today. What do you mean? I'm not gonna be happy. The rabbi always says this, no? Yes or no? He says it. Yes or no? I just wanna see who's the Amor. I wanna dive in his merit. I think it's all Ashe. Ashe. Winning the lottery in his merit. Is that Ashe? Who says that? Ah. Found him. Found him. Let's read the Gemara inside. You see how the secrets of the Gemara? They're not stung. The Gemara is telling us people used to just laugh. No, between me and you, a person who was in cold all of his life, he never opened up Daria Kadosh was, or his Sulat Torah, any kind of Sulat Torah. And he opens up this Gemara, he says, these rabbis were laughing during their tefillah, during their limu. He's like, why are they telling us? Wouldn't you ask yourself a question? And you ask yourself, is there like 40 years of that? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. What is What's going on over here? Does it make sense? So let's see over here, what does this mean? Who, first of all, who was happy? Rabbi Yirmiya Havayatif Kameh de Rabbi Zeira. Wow. Rabbi Yirmiya was sitting in front of Rabbi Zeira. Anybody who knows, Rabbi Yirmiya was a student of Rabbi Zeira. And Rabbi Yirmiya was the rabbi in the Gemara. You can take a picture. You can take a picture. Rabbi Yirmiya was always asking questions. He used to ask the weirdest questions. So one time they even kicked him out of yeshiva because of that. Dari says because of that, uh, they embarrassed him. Dari says, all the she'elot and the miftif to the mala, he has the zikhut of asking them. Should be hear me. I had the zikhut of dialing by his kid. You can ask up there what? All the kushiot mm-hmm. and the miftif to the mala, he asked the kushiot. This is zikhut, you be hear me. Sfaradim, we don't have people named Yirmiya, huh? We have one. We had one, remember? Remember that guy who came here once with two sons when there was a flood here? Okay. Yirmiya's name is? <laughs> Something Ben Yirmiya. First Bukhari and I wrote the name Yirmiya. You guys have Yirmiya? Also, no. Nobody names Yirmiya. An extinct name. <laughs> it's not extinct. It's just not used that much. So, he said, what I'm saying? Chazid ava kabad achtuva. He's, he's, he's in ecstasy. He's laughing. Doesn't why? Why are you so happy? Am I led? The whole etzet. Tiyem mutar. What does that mean? The whole etzet tiyem mutar. Kshidam maret atzmu etzet yelo sechar. When a person shows himself, Shlomo says, when a person shows himself like he's sulking, he's serious. When a person's serious, he gets sechar for that. What does Rav Zera answer his student back? I'm wearing tefillin. You know what he says? The fact that he's wearing tefillin puts him in that aspect that he could be kebadach. Bebdichuta. Lidbadeach. Bdicha. To be happy. So we have to dive in the name of Rav Zera. To be zoche, to wear tefillin, and be happy about it. Wow, what chidushim I just got in my mind. Psh. Rabbi Bizer, how come Rabbi Bizer? Tefillin shoya? Huh? What's called tefillah? Tefillin shoya. Yeah, yeah, it's called. It's called tefillah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Can we can we just comprehend who Rabbi Bizer was? That, he, that the fire of Gehenom wasn't able to, to control him. And he was happy with the word feeling. Is this, this the first time they write about someone being happy like that? No, there's a couple of more like that, but this is... This is a reserve. Wow. We're going to have in this book? Yeah, you have to, yeah. And I was, you know, this, not this Monday, but next Monday night. It's going to be here as a Siyu Masechet. For your birthday? It falls on Monday night. Which is your birthday night. Yeah, it's the Shi'ur night. We're going to make Siyu Masechet, the first Siyu Masechet Yerushalmi. 
מסכת מעשות. And just the other day I was learning about Rabbi Yirmi and Rabbi Zeyra. Wow. Wow. And it says something there crazy about Rabbi Yirmi and Rabbi Zeyra. Rabbi, y- Rabbi Zeyra was not happy by the Dar Sharim. People used to teach Agada. You guys are making up stuff. <laughs> He told them the Yerushalmi was like a masa. But you guys... You're making up stuff over here in your direct shot. <laughs> and then Rabbi Yirmiya comes in with a crazy question. A far-fetched question. What if you took your stick and you were eating and you took the ma'asrot out of that because you only chayav the ma'asir when you take it in from the courtyard. And you, and you took it with a stick from the courtyard. It's a weird question. It tells him, stick to these crazy halachot instead of learning. Agada, <laughs> like I'm not sure he's a, this is a litvak over here, okay, this, is a, this, is, this is not Pashut, this kind of Kushiyot, this kind of Midrashim. But now I'm seeing over here that he's bringing a proof with a Simcha Rabbi Zeyra. So it means we just were not understanding who Rabbi Zeyra was. Who was he? A giant of men. Even though Zeyra means short, he was very short. He's in Lamora? Yeah. He was an Amora, I think he was a student of, uh, not of Rav, he was not a student of Rav. I think he was third generation Amora, I think. Third generation. Oh, did you move into the house? Let's continue. Uh, so basically we see, Ba'al Tavoz Le'inyan Zek, he's charo gadol me'od. So when you wear tefillin and you get, and you get this simcha, like, wow, I'm wearing tefillin. We specifically have to be very happy that we pray almost the nets. When did you start? You have to be in a sense of, wow, we're praying nets today. Even though we're not, we don't pray specifically nets, but your Shmai says for sure, like Achila. So it's a very big Sahar. Right? Everything's finished, לרעך כמוך. זה סידור. 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 זה By the way, side point, did you guys all vote? I didn't know. Lee Zeldin? <laughs> you guys don't vote? No, we do. I'm just not on the news. Yeah, I yeah, am the news. Okay, try to vote tomorrow. If you can. If he's registered, he can't vote. If he's no, registered. he's going to register. He's registered. He's registered. He's registered. I voted for Trump. <laughs> you voted for Trump? Yeah. All right, we might not have to vote Actually, for him. Actually, I didn't vote for Trump. I voted for Trump. Uh, yeah. sure. Entrances are even in Trump. I didn't vote for anyone. Yeah. I wasn't registered, but I voted. Um, I voted. Blasio? You can go to the car? Oh, or the site? Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> it didn't work out. <laughs> okay, so we're continuing or what? So to be, we can be the Haftar era Kamuk. So we see this is uh, all from Shara Kavano. Taiti or no? This is all from Shara Kavano. We're reading right now Shara Kavano. That is Zachita, one of the first people of your line. Thank you for me in this. That you're. Learning Ariel Shar Kavanot, the Schalcha Gadol Meod. You should know that. Now you should do it for Sakhar, but that's not true. So before you do the Akeda, before the Akeda, you have to take upon yourself yourself the Ramocha, the Yechaven Lev Kocha Misweb Kenav Show. Why? Why Kenav Show? Kali Deze Talet Filato Klula Mikol Tfilot Israel. So if you don't have a zechut, your tefillah should go up by accepting upon yourself the mitzvah of the ahavta, la re'acha kamocha, your tefillah has the zechut of going up with all of Klav Yisrael. V'tuchal alot lemala v'alatot peri, and it can also cause peri. It's peri. It can also uh, work. Your tefillah will work. It will, cause, it will bear fruit. Will be prat. Look at this, look at this, look at this. This is the most important part. בפרד באהבת חברים העוסקים בתורה ביחד. When is the Ikar after Yerachah Kamocha? אתה שומע? 
When you love the people you're learning Torah with. Doesn't make a difference. And this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that all the guys over here. If they have them, but have what? Have what? Well, you understand what he's saying right now? Yeah, yeah. Let's for example, we dive in for an hour. And today we dive in for 55 minutes. Seven hour. One guy's like, what is this? You gotta dive in longer. And you're looking at like, calm down already. This is a reason why he's saying it. Like this, you have to feel or guys talking in the better Knesset. You need to work. Let's say, it's hard. He's doing something wrong. It's another era. But they have to say something. Yeah, it's tough. You have to say. to say something. Yeah, they have to say something. Yeah, Smiling. But you get the point that the Ikar Ahava is Bechaveri. They learn Torah together. Sure, sure, apparently, there is a special a idea what? because uh, uh, apparently the people you learn Torah together. You guys are metaken do also The source yeah. and the best way. Of Usually, you do when there's a people you don't Comes when you have a desire. Usually, it's the same thing. It's not the same. If you don't have it's a not desire, the same. Diving together and learning together is the same thing. You're just doing time. It's like being in jail. And this, the Gemara That's says, diving in the place that you. It cannot be learn. done. In I'm just here to... Yes, in to daven in the place that you learn. And you can ask very soon, so how do I... Uh, okay. I want to... So this is here, it's very cool, one and one is to be able 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 to Imagine you're his hand. The, the prime state of high school or in basic elementary school. Especially if you could tell what your guy's source is. Yeah. 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 If you know, look what this is. Bifrat, second line, and bifrat. Im yesh laha adam yedia, the hasaga la dat la akir, lechavero bebchinat nishama. That means when a person has a bechinat nishama, and he understands that me and my friend are both come from the same shores, and his success is my success, then you want even more to help him. You, you, know know you don't know it, but home, if you're like, going to have a zechot to reach the hasaga, then you'll have even more ahava for that verse. You'll have even more ahava for that verse. When you pray for Ashkenaz, you want it to be a start with Ashkenaz. V'im yesh ezeh chaver mehem b'tzara. If one of the people that you're learning with is in the tzara, tzarich kulam neshatech atzmam b'tzaro. Everyone has to include themselves in his tzara. O mechamat choli, o mechamat banim, or if person Hashem doesn't have kids to pray for him. V'it palel alav. That means part of ahavat chinam is to daven for the person who's b'tzar. That's where you're mekayim v'ahavta l'reach ha'kamuch. One of the ways. So in Shema Koleinu, it's good to daven. Say, Hashem izakeh, kol ha'ravakim, kol ha'chasuchei banim, kol ha'enem refuah shlema, to include those people. Especially if you learn with them. It's good if we have 10, 15 people davening for one for, for a couple of guys, it's going to be, you know, maybe I'm going to talk people, about this, this Monday night, what do you say? You know, you might say, it's a, why? Yeah? It's a tehillim, the, for example. Tehillim is good, but in the tehillah itself, it's not good to do it. It starts to go. V'chen b'chol tefilot, ta'av old tefilot, v'tzerachah v'zerav yishetev t'chavero yimo. What does that also mean? Everything that you do, don't be selfish. I know people, you're going to do something, and you could share it with your chaverim, share it. Don't be selfish. Umeot hisirani. Look what he says over here. And my Rebbe was very careful to warn me. Binyan ahavat chaverim shelano shetchavroteinu. To always be careful in the ahavat chaverim of our friends. 
All the tikkun of the marhu in the Ari was talui ba'ahava chaveim. I gave all shir. Rafaim Vital. I gave you guys a whole shir about this. Remember with the Torah Chacham and the Rashash, how they used to make a shtar that they all love each other and they're all going to help each other out. I knew all this. Yeah, the ten guys. He allowed Torah Chacham. I gave all shir about it. I what asked him about it, but I don't know. Yeah. yeah. To do that. As I got there, I started to do that. But I don't remember what. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's, so that was the whole point. So what did he say? Let's read. Oh, let's just finish the two next sentence. Rami Zirani Mod Moriza. See, the Patora the Abba is putting the Lishonod, how the Ari was very careful to be. When the Ari says, Me'od his Hirani Mori, when I'm trying to say that, it's something big. I told him, I said, it's something big. Something big. Gam Hizirani Mod Moriza, Shelo Lachnis Ha Etzba Letoch Oznaim, Tele Nakot Azoama. Don't put your finger in your ears to fix, to clean the Zoama. You know, when you're in the, in the middle of Tfila. So like, yeah. But Me'od is I didn't allow myself. Ad Gamar, until the end of Adin Lishabeah. You're touching the hair also? What's with the Ari, he says? Be Masakach, Sarif Netila. If you do this, wash your hands. Let's just do one more Yosef Abba. Huh? Pick me up. Pick me up. And that's the thing. That's what we're not doing. Why over there? No, it doesn't answer why he said Me'od Bizi. It doesn't answer. Because, okay, why, why this? Yes, yeah. why this versus the hair? Did that? There's a reason why he was very particular about that one. Maybe because when you're doing this in the middle of Tefillah, you're closing the Ozen Ayyon. I don't know. Could be. I don't want to make my own uh, Shetla. But you can for some reason, in this Me'od Mori Viziran. I don't know why. Tzarich Yehu. Not everything the Ari would reveal. Yeah. For some reason, there's an idea with the the Yad. V'amru, look at the Yosef Abba. V'amru, Rabotein Uzal, Bait Sheni, Ayu Bo Tzadikim. Yeah? It's the Yosef Abba. Yeah. The second house, Abba Dimdash, Hat Tzadikim, Chachamim Gidolim, V'lo Nechrav, Ela Ba'avon, Sinat Chinam. It wasn't destroyed because of Sinat Chinam. Why don't we know when the Ketz is going to be? Because it's Sinat Chinam. Every second you hate your friend, you're going over and issue the Oraita. Moshe only reached his levels because he loved Israel a lot. And he saw the suffering. How we so, all this we don't show about Moshe, Moshe, Moshe was just heaven. So, I feel a very similar time. I feel that you would enjoy it from it. That's what we have started. But, 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 one more line. Not one more, one more line. Look what he says over here. Don't take this the wrong way, guys. He never prayed out loud. You know what? You also have to pray for that. No, before that. Yes, for that. But you have to pray that you should do good actions. No, Tfilah B'Kolra means the regular Korbano, this, that, when everybody's saying no. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Yeah, he would say that. You understand? But let's say Pesukei de Zimra. So as you go into the shul, the, the noise is very loud. See me, Dari wouldn't do that. Afilu said it, Tfilah Shil Meyoshav. Out. Was free, not a lot. Even Tfila Meyoshav, which is Pesukei de Zimra and Korbanot. Like this mirot, lehorot hachna. Why would you do specifically? When a person was diving in front of the king, we're talking to the king. I'm gonna yell to the king. No, a filu meyoshav says here. Even a filu meyoshav, he wouldn't. We learned that he draws down two levels of this charm. Right. But the Ari would also not in the Mion. But he's saying, I feel a bizmirot. I feel a bizmirot, he says. 
אמנם, however, ביום השבס, ביום השבס, היה מרים ומגביה קולו, he would raise his voice בנעימה, in song, in music, בתפילה דמי יושע, אה? יותר מעט ממה שיעשה בכל נעל הלאט, a bit more than he would do during the week, ואף זה לא היה, אלא בני כבוד שבת, היו זו בכבוד שבת. גם אני הייתי נוהג לומר בכל בוקר, קודם תפילה, פרשת המן, בסרט הדיברות. למר חוסה זה שער כבוד, every morning you say פרשת המן and the ten commandments. And also different parashiyot, like Kiyor, this, that. Umenaani mori zal le'omram. And my rabbi told me not to do that anymore. Not anymore. After Shekharit. No, he used to do before Shekharit. Like the Shulchan Aruch. Maran says to do it before. Especially Aseret Hadibrot, he told me not to say. Aris, teacher. Give it. Did you find it? Find what? The Tali? No. Because I oh, think that's yours over there. Yeah, it is. Everything that I should create. Somebody was wearing it. Yes, I told them, wow, this looks like a different kind of blue Tali. It might be his. <laughs> I told them, put it specifically over there after Shabbos. We'll be kind of the Shabbat Aveda. Thank you. This is a very, very important yeah. um, thing. Just, just right. last week, I asked him. He said over here, uh, yeah. No, the Ari, Mark who is saying that, the, my Rebbe was telling me this, in the early days, they used to say, Aser Tadi wrote in the Tefillah. Because of the Apikorsim. The means they stopped saying it because the Rambam said they would say the only Torah is a Sarah that he wrote. Therefore, they cancel it. It means even today, at least in their time, there was a Sakana that if you would say a Sarah that he wrote during Tefillah, you would be Machazik the meaning. ולנהוג מה שבטלו חז"ל בגמרא, and to be noheg what the חז"ל cancelled during the גמרא's time. I don't know, say a certain thing wrong. Good question, good question. It's a good question. Good question, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the Rambam, but sometimes Marco wasn't so medayek with his sources. He does that a couple of times. He'll misquote a pasuk. It's not such a rare occurrence with Rav Chaim Vita. And to understand, when he was writing it, sometimes he would write it, they would write it fast. Doesn't necessarily mean Bagmara. Could be it means by Rishonim. That's a very, that's also not a far-fetched idea. They had a different gear stuff. But whatever the case is, still Bidlu. They were Mevatel. To say a certain thing wrote in during Tzfilah, correct or incorrect? Anything. Okay, the next one is going to talk about saying Berchot HaShachar at Chatzot. Bli Nader will do it next week, okay? So this shiur is our Sunday night shiur. We decided to call this shiur Min Hagei Ariya Kadosh. Why did I decide to do this shiur? I'll tell you why. I was very upset. Ask me why. Why? Thank you. Uh, because, you know, some tzaddik of the community, you know, Sfaradim, they always have to speak about the Ariya Kadosh. Whatever they do, can't, they can't help themselves. But doesn't mean they're always saying the right stuff. So, you know, Hosh'ana Rabbah and Hosh'ana Rabbah, uh, Sfaradim have the minhag to stay up all night. And as they stay up, then they, they stay up, they read Sefer Dvarim, as the Ariya Kador says, until midnight. And then from midnight on, they learn, they say Selichot, certain, certain, certain uh, Tehillims. And in the morning, they do Hoshanot, right? Shacharit, Halel, Nyanuim, and Hoshanot. So one rabbi got up and said, listen, people, he said, you guys are not doing it right. Why? 
net net is uh, seven in the morning. It was seven o'clock that day. Because we were all starting to daven at five o'clock. We were davening half an hour early. So we're all davening with the Avad. So he was making a pilpul. Maybe we should do the hakafot before Shmona Yisrael, before Shacharit, and start Shacharit later, and do Halal later. That way we do at least Shmona Yisrael on time. But Ned, he was making a whole pilpul she were over there. And he was quoting the Ari, he was learning it from the Ari, and I was ashamed to say that some of the stuff that I was confused myself, that he was asking me this weeks ago, and he took me by the wrong lesson. And uh, basically this rabbi, a lot of people listened to him, and I felt like he came up with the wrong maskanot according to the Ari. But what he said was wrong. What he said, halakhically, according to the Ari, was wrong. That he should do the hakafot, he said he should do the hakafot before... Shachars, start Shacharit, do uh, Shmona Yisrael by Nets, and then do Na'anuim, Halal, and then just chick chak walk around the Lervacha de Milta, walk around the, the Teva seven times. Yeah, because you already did the whole things before. Just walk around seven times, and you're good to go. And I saw this and I said to myself, I didn't text him, I didn't tell him anything, but I said to myself, I disagree with his maskana. And he had a reason why he said this pshah from the Ariya Kadosh, but I understood from what he was saying that he never learned all the Ariya Kadosh. He just took bits and pieces and came up with maskanot. Now it's true, that's the way we learn poskim. By poskim, that's how we learn. You open up a Bet Yosef. It's, like, it's not like you learn the whole Sefer, your Rabbeinu Yerucham. It's not like you learn all the Samag and the Samak. It's not like you learn all the Rosh. You take bits and pieces and the Sugya. Right? But And the Ari, you can't say that. You have to know all the Ari before you come to a Maskana from his name. So therefore, I felt it's very important to start from Berchot HaShachar till... The end of Shara Kavanot, Puri Hayim. What are all the maskanot of the Ari? And maybe Rizot Hashem, we can get to some kind of maskanot. What does the Ari Kadosh hold the fee? This book, at least, Patorah Da'aba, which is an amazing safer. This is like a mini Shulchan Aruch, the fee at least according to the Ari. Let's start. So it says the Patorah Da'aba, he's quoting over here Shara Kavanot, page one, Daf Aleph, on the top. Every prayer is in the world of Asiya. It's a big kasha, first of all. What's the kasha? We know that all our tefillot are reaching to Olam Ha'atzilut. How can we think of here that every tefillah is in Olam Ha'asiya? That's what Shara Kavanot says. He says, Besot tefillah le'ani. In Ani, the word Ani is another word for, for the world of Asiya. The word Ani, like we learn in Shari Ora, this and that, yeah, Malchut. Malchut is Asiya. Ani is Asiya. So he says, every tefillah is in the world of Asiya. Vihiya Malchut. Hashoelet Tzrachea, the Shechina Kibyachol, asks for its needs. Umit Palelet El Haza, and prays to the system above it. Ani with the Ain. Huh? Ani with the Ain. Ain. Also, also, yeah, also a malchut, also a malchut. <coughs> so the shechina, the malchut, is praying to Zah. The fifth system gets its sustenance from the fourth system. V'simanaich v'ani tefila. Not only there is tefila le'ani, but also the pasuk is v'ani tefila. V'ani is also a word that denotes the malchut. Vani, and also Tfila is also the name of the Malchut. So we have Tfila as Malchut, Ani is Malchut, and Ani is Malchut. That's why every time he says in the Torah, HaKedoshah, when it talks about prayer, it always talks as if David HaMelech or Moshe Rabbeinu is spilling out his Nefesh. Because remember, we have Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, Chaya, Yechida, and Nefesh is also Malchut. 
So therefore, what is he spilling out? His malchut. And I have spilled out my nefesh in front of Hashem. And this is the aspect, the correspondence of the malchut, asiya, of atzilut, or asiya, the, asi, the regular asiya, asiya the asiya, hanikra nefesh, which is called nefesh. So what do we have over here, maskana? That every tefillah, always is in the Sfirat HaMalchut. Correct? You always go, it means, you're starting from the below, right? <coughs> the Malchut, you have to be the agent of the Malchut, as if the Malchut is mitlabesh betoch echa, and you're asking from above you, the Shefa to come down. Karbanot huh? is also Malchut. Karbanot is also Malchut, yeah, of course. And therefore, we have over here certain words that you see that connected to Sfirat HaMalchut, Tefillah. Ani, Ani, Nafshi, Veshpoch Alaych Nafshi, Veshpoch Et Nafshi, Lifne Hashem. What's Lifne Hashem? Before Za. Hashem is the Za. Lifne Hashem is the Shechina. You understand? So Yud Kei Vav Kei. Lifne Hashem, the Hey that comes right before the Vav, if you're going backwards. So the set is going yeah, it's all quite, right now we just read Shara Kavanot. This is Shara Kavanot, okay? So let's draw this out real quick, so there shouldn't be any misconceptions. It says, here, that we, he says every tefillah is in the world of Asiyah. Asiyah. That means even if a person is praying by himself, he's just taking uh, a Hidbodedut session, and he's davening, he's in the world of Asiyah. Tefillah equals Asiyah. Asiyah doesn't mean Asiyah HaTachtona, the lowest Asiyah. So you have Atzidut, Bria, Yetzira, and Asiyah. When I say that Tfilah is an Asiyah, it doesn't necessarily mean this Asiyah. Because in Atzidut itself, it has Atzidut, Bria, Yetzira, and Asiyah. Abiya the Atzidut. Bria itself has. Atzilut, Biria, Yitzira, Asiya. Yitzira has. Atzilut, Biria, Yitzira, Asiya. Asiya has. Atzilut, Biria, Yitzira, and Asiya. So therefore, my Tfila could either be an Asiya Tachtona, or it could be, if I get to the highest level, an Asiya, the Atzilut. Common denominator, all Tfila is in the world of Malchut. Okay? And Malchut is called a Tfila. It's also called an Ani. It's also called Ani. Tefillah le'ani ki atof. And also, the world of Asiya is corresponding nefesh, right? Therefore, when it talks about Tefillah inside the Torah, it also says, Ve'ishpoch alaich nafshi. I'm taking out my nefesh. Not ruchi, not uh, nishmati, not chayati or yechidati. It says, Ve'ishpoch alaich nafshi. That nefesh, that correspondence of nefesh, is talking specifically on the malchut. And also what we learned in Shari Ora, that the malchut is called Amonai, Aleph, Dalet, Nun, Yud. So therefore we start our Shmonai, so Amonai, Sefatai, Tiftach, Ufiagiti, Latecha. Because everything you have to go through, Sfirat HaMalchut, which is Sota Shechina, Ba'asuli Mikdash, V'shachanti, Shechina, V'shachanti, Betocha. Okay, that's what the Shara Kavanot says. So, so, so far what we're learning, everything has to start with the Shechina. L'shem yichud kutsha b'yichu u'shechinte. We will get to Malchut Atzilut. We're going to learn that really everything starts from Asiyah Tachtona. Really. How does it go up? Ah. We're going to learn it now. It says over here. It 
אסור לאדם להתפלל תפילתו בעיצבון. A person can't pray when he's depressed or sad. אסור, says the Ari. What's the source? Look at Aleph on the bottom. Yosef Abba, under Yosef Abba, you see that? אסור לאדם. העצבות גורמת מניעת העבודה. עצבות causes the lack of work, תפילה. וקיום המצוות הוא ביטול עסק התורה וכוונת התפילה. It not only does sadness cause the stopping of prayer and the doing of מצוות, it also stops the learning of Torah and כוונת התפילה. ומבטלת מחשבה טובה לעבוד את השם. And it stops the right כוונה, the מחשבה to serve השם. והיא ישר התחלת גירוי הסתת היצר הרע. אפילו אם הוא צדיק בר אותו כי אין לו תועלת בעבודה בהיותו ייסורים עליו. Even if you have a good reason to be depressed, you have ייסורי אמניו, the sadness is showing you why are you sad. He says to you, why are you doubting? You see it's not helping you. That idea where he tells you, what's the point of you doubting? You see it's not helping you, which is a good tie-in. It causes you itself the worst part. that not to daven anymore, not to learn Torah anymore, not to have kavanah in, to- in Torah anymore. That's what the itzavon does to you. It tells you what's the point of you doing anything. Not that you're not doing anything, you're doing it, but what's the point of it? If you see it's not working. That's what itzavon does to you. The he's gam- quoting Galacha? Huh? Yosef Abba is quoting Galacha? No, he's quoting as a Shari Kedusha. This is all Shari Kedusha. וגם כי בא אליו בדרך חסידות, even if the יצבון comes to you in a righteous way. באמור לך, איך יעלה בדעתך עפר רימה ותולה להתקרב לה, להתקדש בקדושה מלכו של עולם, כמו שכתוב, רמות להביא לחוכמות. How did, sometimes it comes to you the יצבון in a different way, it tells you, how dare you, who are you to come in front of the כוונות? In front of the Ari, was using the Kavanot Ari, who are you to use such a thing? You yourself, you know, your Shvilud, your this, your Averot, this is also Tzata Satan. This is also Tzata Satan. Gam gorem metziluk ruach ha-kodesh me'alav, it also causes a lack of ruach ha-kodesh. Vahefech, but the opposite, biyoto oved ha-shem yar besimcha, kamo shakatuv ivdut ha-shem besimcha, when you serve ha-shem besimcha, with... Simcha doesn't necessarily mean happiness. Simcha also means with cheshek. Cheshek means I have a want. I want to. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm happy. I have a want. I'm excited. Excitement. Simcha could also mean excitement. Is there a word in Hebrew for excitement? No. Simcha is excitement. When you're with Simcha, you get excited. When you serve Hashem with excitement. Ki ha-simcha mosif oh. I probably got it from him from a long time ago, just subconscious. Mosifa cheshek rav, it gives him cheshek. Ve'ahava, and love, lidabek bo yidbarach. To be connected to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, uchtiv, tachat asher lo avad Hashem besimcha. Because you didn't serve Hashem besimcha, the Pasuk says. Ki avodai ni bi yitzavon, if the avoda of Hashem is with through sadness, depression, or without cheshek. Without any will, without any want, without any point. Just doing it, mitzvat anashim melumada. I'm doing it because I'm going through the system. Dome le'evet ha'oved le'rabo be'panim atzvot v'zavod. You're like a person that serves his master with a sad, melancholy face. Uchtiv, berkat Hashem hi ta'ashir. The blessing of Hashem gives... Richness. ולא יוסיף עצב אימה, you should not have depression with it. כי העיצבון, הוא נמשך, look what he writes over here, look at this crazy thing. Sadness and depression is from the זוהמת הסמך מהם והנחש. That means that feeling of depression that one has, it means the זוהמת הנחש is still inside of you from the time of עגל הזהב. Everybody has it now. They all have the Zohar Matanachash still. <coughs> What? <laughs> they don't have Zohar Matanachash, they have Zohar Matanachash. What? She'etil ba'adam v'chava, that he put in Adam and chava. 
כמו שכתוב באדם, באי צוון. What's the, what's the raya? What did Hashem curse Adam with right after? Be'i tzavon tochelena. You should eat it with sadness, with hardship, with depression. You should work with depression. It wasn't a curse. It was a, that was the zo'amat anachar. Uchtiv be'etzev, and what does it say by, by, uh, by chava? Be'etzev t'libanim. You should have kids with etzev, with hardship. Wow. Because it's all Shari Kedusha. And that's the best way if you want Hashem to leave you, that's the best way. To do everything Be'itzavon. Lo'alim. Huh? But it's not a breastlet thing, you say. It's, a, it's, a, it's from the Torah. Ta'chat asher lo avadata ad Hashem b'simcha. Every Jew has to serve as in Bishimah, whether he's Lita'i, Sfaradi, huh? Where in the Torah do we see it? In Sefer Bereshit, in Parshat Bereshit, Be'etzef Toldi Banim. Where do we see the... Tachat Asher Lo Avat Hashem B'Simcha, Parshat Ki Tavo. Towards the end of the Kladot. It says it over there. Okay, continuing Patra De'Aba. Asur La'adam Leit Palel Tfiato Be'itzavon. You're now out of serve, you're now out to... Pray to Hashem with sadness. Not sadness. Once again, it's talking about without cheshek. Without any will. No, will, desire. Reuta de liba. Vim na sekach, ein nafsho yechol lekavel or elion. And therefore, your soul cannot get the or elion, which is coming down through your tefillah. Hanim shav tefillah. I'm not be'et shamit vadeh. But when you're doing vidui, umefaret chatav, and you're saying your averot, אסטוב לית אצף בלבד, you can have over there sadness. אבל בשאר התפילה, but in the rest of the תפילה, נמשך לו נזק נפלא, גדול על ידי עצבותו. You get a very big נזק, damage from the יצבון. אבל צריך לעוד לפניי דבר הכנעה גדולה, באימה ואירה. How do you have to serve Hashem? בהכנעה גדולה. Putting yourself down. באימה. With fear and trepidation, Vayira. Anantiya besimcha yetera gdola bechol devshar. As you're doing that, has to be besimcha. How does that? How does that make sense? Simcha is only with yira. How? Had you did you ever experience fear with simcha? Ahava is only with yira, so ahava and simcha. No, Chama. He says over here, tiya hachna agdola. Be'ema ve'ira. You have to have a lot of hachna'a. Hachna'a means like a, a king is walking in, you're be'hachna'a gedola. You're like a slave in front of the king, a, a servant. Amnam t'yeh be'simcha yetera gedola. Do it that with simcha. Usually if a person is be'simcha, he's not be'hachna'a. If you're be'hachna'a, you're in yira. How do you have yira and hachna'a, yira and simcha at the same time? Pasuk says, Gilu, Ivdu et Hashem besimcha, Ivdu et Hashem besimcha, Gilu b'rada. David Amela says that. Gilu b'rada? Gilu b'rada. Be happy with fear. How do you be happy with fear? So I'll give you an example from what I've seen in my... How do you... How could you see such a kind of example? The example is you see it with kids. When they come to school for the first day of school and they go inside their class and their Rebbe still didn't come in yet. And they have their notebook ready. Everything is fresh. New papers, new binders, new clothing. They'll come to school fresh. And their Rebbe comes in <coughs> and they all stand up. But they have bir ada because they're ready to do work for the whole year, at least for that day. <laughs> and then they sit down and they're all excited, <coughs> but they are fearful. What is the Rebbe going to say? Is he going to fail them? Is he not going to fail them? Is he going to minus their points off? Is he happy? Rebbe? Is he happy? <laughs> that's called, that's what gilu bir ada is. If do it Hashem besimcha, they're besimcha, they're excited. It's the first day of school, they're besimcha. But they have bir'ada. They do with bir'ada. 
that's the that's the one example I could find of and it's true because I think that a person has to serve Hashem not for Sahar Onish, but for for Lasud Nachas Ruch Liyosro. For the sake of doing Nachas Ruch to Hashem, it's a very big avoda. Avoda Hashem. Yeah, that's the true avoda Hashem. Uh, if you're gonna learn the Reshit Chochma of Rabbi Liao Dividash, student of the Ramak, he says over there that the highest level of serving Hashem is Lasud Nachas Ruch Liyosro. But out of Yirat HaRomimut. They say some big tzaddikim, they used to get to Yirat Shammai, not through learning Musar books, but at looking at pictures of, of nature, by going into nature. That was the greatest Musar book. Okay. It's not just what they do, it's Yirat. Looking at the, looking at the, <coughs> the nature. And just looking at it gives you a, right? I saw this photoshopped video of the solar of the solar eclipse. You guys saw it? Yeah, the moon. On the Arctic Circle. I thought it was real. But imagine if that was real. Wow. Niflauta boy. Niflauta boy? Mamash, niflauta boy. It gives you a Yiratharo Memut. Not like that kid who comes to school on the first day, that ninth grader, he has more Yiratharo Memut than you. I've seen it, I know, I've been in the position. I'm there every year. I see the Gilubir Ada by them. The wanting to do good. The freshness. How was it? How was it afterwards? Tavakal <laughs> Bahashem, we say. <laughs> no, it depends. Listen, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of different uh, factors that factor in over here. I'm just saying Gilubir Ada. But I also see in school that uh, when the kids serve, when they do the work Be'it Savon, that's it. There could be no continuation in class. Once the itzavon hits, forget it. Getting the kid. We've had kids that were that used to leave school. That's it. They were done. They couldn't. They couldn't continue. They were just be itzavon. They decided to give up. Just decided to give up. It's tough. It's tough, but. For us, it's also tough because we have to get to that point every single morning. Afternoon, that means whatever Averot you did last night or in the morning, you have to come to shul, b'simcha, like ready to serve Hashem. Whatever Averot you did, it's a tough avodah. That's why it's called, now you know why it's called avodah? Why is tefillah called avodah? It's an avodah. Now you know why Hasidim used to wait one hour before the tefillah? To get ready to daven. Why after? Why after? To keep the power going. To keep the power going. The Arya Kador says. What Avodah? What Avodah? Okay. Going to the next day again. Yeah, that's the Avodah. That's the Avodah. The beauty is that in their tefillah, they used to feel a or elakut. They were in ecstasy during their tefillah. They were in hishtabchut ha-nefesh. You know what I mean? Mam hishtabchut ha-nefesh. Tiye b'simcha yitra g'dola v'chod e'v'sha k'dimyon ha'ev m'shem shet aru b'simcha yitra to serve your... It's like a, a servant that serves his master b'simcha yitra with extra simcha. This is the words of the Ari. The, everything in the bold letters over here is the words of the Ari. In Shara Kavan. And if you serve your master your avoda is considered disgusting to him. Wow. You hear what he just said? You hear what he said? What I just said? Read it again. Begin. Wow. 
Did you guys just hear what you just said? You guys didn't just hear it. It went, it went above you. Again. And it's as if, he says, almost all the ma'ala and the shlemut and the reaching of Ruach HaKodesh. Three things. Ma'ala, shlemut, and Ruach HaKodesh. Ma'ala, reaching the lofty levels. Shlemut, the complete. Ruach HaKodesh is dependent on this. Of what? Not to be the atzavut, eh? Did you get? Did you get what he just said? You didn't get what he just said. Yeah, yeah. Did you feel what he just said? Uh, yeah, I'm just You're trying to it? see how I'm gonna. Did use you get it? a little bit of goosebumps? A little bit. Ten percent. Fifteen percent. Just trying to figure out <laughs> how to get to that. Let's read Yosef Allah. Hasagad Ruach Hakodesh and Yosef. No, no, no. On the top, Gimel. Ve'araya. Miyakov, Bechir Shal. Do you do you like this safer? Do you are you feeling this safer? It's a good safer, right? Fire safer. Ve'arayah, ve'arayah, Miyakov, Bechir Avot. She nistalkam imenu shchina v'ruach hakodesh chav bed shanim. The sh- the raya from Miyakov Avinu that he lost the shchina for twenty two years. She pires Yosef imenu when he lost Yosef. O kishe samach. בבשורתו כתיב, ותחי רוח יעקב שרתה עליו רוח הקודש ריבונו של עולם. What did we just read over here? Only when he was, he, בשמחה he got רוח הקודש. And from here I find specifically the proof. For me this is the proof that to reach the מדרגת הרוח, נפשו פרח יחידה, right? To reach מדרגת הרוח, תהי בשמחה. Beautiful. Do you see it? Yes or no? I see it. Vamru Rabotai Zad. Ain Shina, the divine presence. The Ain Hanivua in the prophecy. Shora Lomito Hatsut. Not through Hatsut. The Ken Matsino, the Elisha, the Vinay and Nevim. We see the same thing in Elisha and the sons of the Nevim. Basically, the, the Tamid Chacham. Dichti, the Haya Kenagin and Menagin. When they used to be sad, they used to bring music to bring them betoch simcha. Music should bring your person through simcha. Every time you see Nevi'im, you see musical instruments. It's tough to be simcha all the time. V'afilu b'chol avodat mitzvah v'tihila tzarech sheb t'chlit ha-simcha. Once again, what is he quoting? Sha'arei. Second line on the Ari. Who is that? Who said that? Bet. Dalit. Brachot. You have a Masikat Brachot? Could you bring out a Masikat Brachot, please? There should be a Masikat Brachot over there. Here. Who used to say? He used to laugh and be happy when he used to wear tefillin. It is, why are you so happy? Tefillin kama nachna, daf lamin. I'm wearing tefillin today, what do you mean? I'm not gonna be happy. The rabbi always says this, no? Yes or no, he says it, yes or no? I just wanna see who's the Amor, I just wanna dive in his merit. I think it's all Ashe. Ashe. Winning the lottery in his merit. Is that Ashe? Who says that? Found him. Found him. Let's read the Gemara inside. You see how the secrets of the Gemara? They're not stam. The Gemara is telling us people used to just laugh. No, be, between me and you, a person who was in cold all of his life. He never opened up Daria Kadosh was, or his Torah, any kind of Torah. Or be it Azar Bala Rokea. And he opens up this Gemara. He says, these rabbis were laughing during their tefillah, during their limu. He's like, why are they telling us? Wouldn't you ask yourself a question? And you ask yourself, like, is there like 40 years of that? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. What is, what's going on over here? 
Does it make sense? So let's see over here, what does this mean? Who, first of all, who was happy? Rabbi Yirmiya Havayatif Kameh de Rabbi Zeira. Wow. Rabbi Yirmiya was sitting in front of Rabbi Zeira. Anybody who knows, Rabbi Yirmiya was a student of Rabbi Zeira. And Rabbi Yirmiya was the rabbi in the Gemara. You can take a picture. You can take a picture. Rabbi Yirmiya was always asking questions. He used to ask the weirdest questions. So one time they even kicked him out of yeshiva because of that. The Ari says because of that, uh, they embarrassed him, the Ari says. All the she'elot and the miftifta de mala, he has the zikhut of asking them. Rabbi Yirmiya. I had the zikhut of dawing by his kid. You can ask up there what? All the kushiot mm-hmm. and the miftifta de mala, he asked the kushiot. This is Chut, Rabbi Yirmiya. Sfaradim, we don't have people named Yirmiya, huh? We have one, we had one, remember? Remember that guy who came here once with two sons when there was a flood here? Okay, Yirmiya's name? <laughs> Something Ben Yirmiya. First Bukhari and I wrote the name Yirmiya. You guys have Yirmiya? Also, no, nobody names Yirmiya. Next nickname. <laughs> it's not extinct, it's just not used that much. So, is it where Zaira? See, he's, he's, he's in ecstasy, he's laughing. He doesn't why why are you so happy? What does that mean? When a person shows himself, when a person shows himself like he's sulking, he's serious. When a person's serious, he gets sahar for that. What does Rav Zera answer his student back? I'm wearing tefillin. You know what he says? The fact that he's wearing tefillin puts him in that aspect that he could be kebadach. Bebdichuta. Lidbadeach. Bdicha. To be happy. So we have to dive in the name of Rav Zera. To be zoche, to wear tefillin, and be happy about it. Wow, what chidushim I just got in my mind. Psh. Rabbi Bizer, how come Rabbi Bizer? Tefillin shoya? Huh? What's called tefillah? Tefillin shoya. Yeah, yeah, it's called. It's called tefillah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Can we can we just comprehend who Rabbi Bizer was? That, he, that the fire of Gehenom wasn't able to, to control him. And he was happy with the word feeling. Is this, this the first time they write about someone being happy like that? No, there's a couple of more like that, but this is... This is a reserve. Wow. We're going to have in this book? Yeah, you have to, yeah. And I was, you know, this, not this Monday, but next Monday night. It's going to be here as a Siyum Masechet. For your birthday? It falls on Monday night. Which is your first time? Yeah, it's the Shi'ur night. We're going to make Siyum Masechet, the first Siyum Masechet Yerushalmi. Masechet Ma'asrot. And just the other day, I was learning about Rabbi Yirmi and Rabbi Zera. Wow. Wow. And it says something there crazy about Rabbi Yir Rabbi Zera. Rabbi, Yir, Rabbi Zera was not happy by the Darsharim. People used to teach Agada. You guys are making up stuff. <laughs> he told them the Yerushalmi was such a massa. But you guys, you're making up stuff over here in your drug shot. <laughs> And then Rabbi Yirmiya comes in with a crazy question, a far-fetched question. What if you took your stick and you were eating and you took the ma'asrot out of that because you only chayav the ma'aser when you take it in from the courtyard. And you, and you took it with a stick from the courtyard. It's a weird question. It tells him, stick to these crazy halachot instead of learning agada. <laughs> like, I'm not sure. He's a, this is a litfak over here. Okay, this is a... This is, this is not Pashut, this kind of Kushiot, this kind of Midrashim. But now I'm seeing over here that he's bringing a proof with the Simcha Rabbi Zeira. So 
So it means we just we're not understanding who Rabbi Zera was. Who was he? Giant of men. Even though Zera means short, he was very short. He's an Amora? Yeah. He was an Amora, I think he was a student of uh, not of Rav. He was not a student of Rav. I think he was third generation Amora. I think. Third generation. Oh, did you move into the house? Top. Let's continue. Uh, so basically we see Va'al Tavoz Le'inyan Zek He's charo gadol me'od So when you wear tefillin And you get And you get this simcha Like wow I'm wearing tefillin We specifically have to be Very happy that we pray Almost the nets You have to be in a sense of Wow we're Praying in nets today Even though we're not We don't pray specifically nets But Your Shmai says For sure So it's a very big sahar Right? right. Also, in your studio, you guys have it, right? By the way, I heard it, the Bell's a Rebbe's son. His eldest son, who's going to be future Rebbe. He only has one, so he's coming to Boracor. Oh, he comes every once in a while. Oh, I thought it was something special. He's coming to open up a new base medrash. Baruch Hashem. By the way, side point, did you guys all vote? Lee Zeldin? <laughs> you guys don't vote? No, we do. I'm just not on the news. Yeah, I yeah, am the news. Okay, try to vote tomorrow. If you can't. If he's registered, he can't vote if he's No, he's registered. gonna register. Right? He's registered, he's registered. I voted for Trump. <laughs> you voted for Trump? Yeah. Alright, we might not have to vote Actually, for him. Actually, I didn't vote for Trump. I voted for uh, uh, sure. Entrance is a new Trump. I didn't vote for anyone. Yeah. I wasn't registered, but I voted. Um, I voted. Blasio? You can go there with the car? I voted the second time for Trump, sorry. No, I think it didn't work out. <laughs> okay. So we're continuing or what? So to be mikabel the haftar there are kamukas. So we see this is uh, all from Shara Kavanot, Rabbi. Really. Taiti or no? This is all from Shara Kavanot. We're reading right now Shara Kavanot. That is Zachita, one of the first people of your line. That you're learning Ariel Shara Kavanot. This Shalcha Gadol Meod. You should know that. Now you should do for Shachar. You should. That's not drunk le Shachar. Um, so before you do the Akedah, before the Akedah, you have to take upon yourself yourself the Ramocha, Why? Why can I show? Why can I show? Because it's not the same thing that you have to do from all the Israel. So if you don't have a Zechut, your Tfilah should go up by accepting upon yourself the Mitzvah, the Ahavta, the Re'acha, the Kamocha, your tefillah has the zechut of going up with all of Klav Israel. The tuchal alot lemala, but also peri, and it could also cause peri. It's peri. It could also uh, work. Your tefillah will work. It will cause. It will bear fruit. Will be prat. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is the most important part. Bifrat ve'ahavat chaverim ha'uskim b'Torah be'yachad. When is the ikar after Yerecha Kamochat? Tashamayah. When you love the people, you're learning Torah with. And, uh, they, this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that all the guys over here. After half them, but have that, have that. What's that guy doing? Well, you understand what he's saying right now? Yeah, yeah. Let's for example, we dive in for an hour, and today we dive in for fifty-five minutes. Seven hour. Room. One guy's like, what is this? You guys have longer. And you're looking at like, calm down already. This is a There's a reason why you say it. Like this, you have to feel. Or guy's talking in the better place. You need to work. It's hard. He's doing something wrong. It's another era. But yeah, have to. They have to go over. You have to say something. Yeah, it's tough. You have to say. To say something nice. Yeah, but after that, no. Smiling. <laughs> but you get the point that the Ikar Ahava okay. is Bechaveri. They learn Torah together. Sure, sure, apparently, there is a special idea because uh, apparently the people you learn Torah together 
You guys are mitaken the also shorish. The source. In the best way. Of Usually, you you daven with the people you learn. Comes when you have a desire. Usually, it's the same thing. It's not the same. If you don't have it's a not desire, the same. Davening together and learning together are the same thing. You're just doing time. It's like being in jail. And this, the Gemara That's says, daven in the place that you. It cannot be learn. done in a way. I'm just here to. Yes, inyan to daven in the place that you learn. And you can ask very soon, so how do I... Uh, okay. I want so that over here, you have to okay. do okay. so do it. Do How do you do Ahavat Chaverim? By imagining one, two, that you two, are two, one of the limbs of your friend. Imagine you're his hand. The, the prime state of high school or in basic elementary school. In the first place, you have to know and to know and to know and to know and to know. Especially if you could tell what your guy's Shorsh Neshama is, then you could have even more of a love to your Chaveri. Because you wouldn't want, for example, for a person to ruin his Avodah if you know your guys are both fixing in the same place. Yes or no? If you know, look what it says over here. Bifrat, second line, Bifrat, im yesh laha adam yedi'ah, the hasaga la dat la akir le chavero be bhinat nishama. That means when a person has a bhinat nishama and he understands that me and my friend are both come from the same shores and his success is my success, then you want even more to help him. You, can you, know know you don't know it, but if you're going to gonna have a zechot to reach the hasaga, then you'll have even more ahava for that verse. You'll have even more ahava for that verse. When you pray for Ashkel, you represent it. You want it to me, I start doing it. V'imish is a chaver me'en b'tzara. If one of the people that you're learning with is in the tzara, tzarich kulam neshatech atzmam b'tzara. Everyone has to include themselves in his tzara. The same way our husband wants that his wife should have kids. Or mechamat choli, or mechamat banim, or if person actually doesn't have kids, to pray for him. V'it palel alav. That means part of ahavat chinam is to daven for the person who's b'tzara. That's where you're mekayim v'ahavta l'reach kamuch. But in order to get there, we have one to of the ways. So in Shema Kolein, it's good to daven. Say, Shem Yizakeh, Kol HaRavakim, Kol HaChasuchei Banim, Kol HaEnlem Refuah Shlema, to include those people. Especially if you to learn with them. It's good if we have 10, 15 people davening for one, for, for a couple of guys. It's going to be, you know, we'll do pre. Maybe I'm going to talk about this this Monday night. What do you say? You know, you might say, it's why? Yeah? It's say Tehillim. The, 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 the Tehillim is good, but in the Tehillim itself, it's not good to do it. It starts to go. V'chen b'chol Tehillot, Ta'av, old Tehillot, V'tzerachah, V'zerav, Yishetet, Chavro, Yimo. What does that also mean? I see every single Everything that you do, don't be selfish. I know people, they were You're going to do something, and you could share it with your Chavarim, share it. Don't be selfish. Umerot hisiranim. Look what he says over here. And my Rebbe was very careful to warn me. Binyan ahavat chaverim shelano shetavroteinu. To always be careful in the ahavat chaverim of our friends. All the tikkun of the marhu in the Ari was taluy ba ahavat chaverim. I give all shir. Rav Chaim Vital. I give you guys a whole shir about this. Remember the Torah Chacham and the Rashash, how they used to make a shtar. That they all love each other and they're all gonna help each other out. I mean, ten people. Yeah, the ten guys. He allowed to come. I'm not sure about it. I asked him about it. I don't know. Yeah. To do that. As I got there, I started to do that. But I don't remember what. Yeah. But uh, it's, so that was the whole point. So what did he say? Let's read. Oh, let's just finish the two next sentences. Rami Zirani Mod Moriza. See the Patora the Abba is putting the Lishonot, how the Ari was very careful to be. When the Ari says, Me'od his Hirani Mori, when I'm trying to say that, it's something big. It's something big. Something big. Gam his Hirani Mod Moriza, Shelo Lachnis Ha Etzba Letoho Oznaim, Telenakota Zoama. Don't put your finger in your ears to fix, to clean the Zoama. You know, when you're in the middle of Tfila. So He's like, the thing yeah. was that right but now, I didn't allow myself to touch the hair. Until the end of Adinu Lishabayah. Are you touching the hair also? What's with Ari, he says? If you do this, 
Asher. Let's just do one more Yosef Abba. Huh? Pick me up. Pick me up. And that's the thing. That's why we're not doing. Why over there? No, it doesn't answer why he said Me'od Bezir. It doesn't answer. Because, okay, why, why this? Yes. Yeah. Why this versus the hair? Did that? There's a reason why he was very particular about that one. Maybe because when you're doing this in the middle of Tefillah, you're closing the Ozen Ayyon. I don't know. Could be. I don't want to make my own uh, Shetla. But for some reason, in this Me'od, Mori Hiziran. I don't know why. Tarikhiyu. Not, not everything the Ari would reveal. Yeah. For some reason, there's an idea with the the Yad. Vamru, look at the Yosef Abba. Vamru, Rabotein Uzal, Bait Sheni, Ayu Bo Tzadikim. Yeah, it's the Yosef Abba. Yeah. The second house, Abedim Dash, Hat Tzadikim, Chachamim Gidolim, Velo Nechrav Ela Ba'avon Sinat Chinam. It wasn't destroyed because of Sinat Chinam. Why don't we know when the Ketz is going to be? Because it's Sinat Chinam. Every second you hate your friend, you're going over and issue the Oraita. Moshe only reached his levels because he loved Israel a lot. And he saw the so, this week we want to talk about So, I feel that you would enjoy Once again, where is the root of this uh, thing? Share. After doing the mitzvot and you're doing the chesed, you're doing the masin to okay. doing this good. We're gonna end over here, guys. Okay. One more line, this not one more, this one more line. This Look what he says over here. Don't take this the, the, the wrong way, guys. Me olam lo hit filato be kol ram. He never prayed out loud. You know what? You also have to pray for that. No, before that, yes, for that. But you have to pray that you should do good actions. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, Tfilah B'Kolram means the regular Korban, this, that. When everybody's saying, no, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Yeah, he would say that. Just stay in that mangal and smoke. Yeah, that's what he would say. 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 Yeah, that's what he was pretty you mad, right? Even Tfila Meyoshav, which is Pesukei the Zimra and Korbanot, like the Zmirot, Lehorot Hachna, why would you do specifically? When a person was diving in front of the king, we're talking to the king, you're not going to yell to the king. No, a Filu Meyoshav, he says here. Even Tfila Meyoshav, he wouldn't. We learned. He draws down two levels of this. Charmness. Right. But the Ari would also not in the Meosh. But he's saying, Afilu Bizmirot. Afilu Bizmirot, he says, Laot Achna. Amnam, however, Bayom Hashabes. Bayom Hashabes. Hayam Merim Umagbiya Kolo. He would raise his voice, Bini'ima. In song. In music. Bitfila de Meosha, huh? Yeah, to Noah, yeah, he would sing. Yoter me'af, he marshi as a behold, not a lot. A bit more than he would do during the week. But Avzel, why, yeah, and a big quote Shabbat. You should be quote Shabbat. And who's talking about this? We're talking about the. גם אני הייתי נוהג לומר בכל בוקר קודם תפילה פרשת המן בסרט הדיברות. למרחו סז נשאר כבוד ה-every morning used to say פרשת המן and the ten commandments and also different פרשיות like כיור, this, that. ומנעני מורי זל לאומרם. And my rabbi told me not to do that anymore. To grow in anything after Shechari. After Shechari. No, he used to do before Shechari. Like the Shulchan Aruch. But when you have a relationship, Maran has to do it before. It's an, it's an Especially Aseret Hadibrot. 
He told me not to say. Are his teachers? Give it. Did you find it? Find what? The teddy? No. Because I oh, think that's yours. Over there. Yeah, it is. Thank you, I'm sorry. Somebody was wearing it. Yes, I told him, wow, this looks like a different mean? kind of blue tali. It might be his. <laughs> I told him, put it specifically over there after Shabbos. We'll be kind of the Shabbat This is a very, very, very. Just this last week, I asked You said over here? Uh, in the Ari's, Ari's, Ari's Rabbi. No, the Ari, Mark who is saying that, the, my Rebbe was telling me this. In the early days, they used to say Aser Tadi wrote in the Tefillah. Because of the Apikorsim, the means. They stopped saying it because the Rambam said they would say the only Torah is a Sarah that he wrote. Therefore, they cancel it. It means even today, at least in their time, there was a Sakana that if you would say a Sarah that he wrote during Tefillah, you would be Machazik the Minin. And to be no heg, what the Chazal cancelled during the Gemara's time. Huh? I don't uh, say a certain thing wrong. Good question. Good question. It's a good question. Good question. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the Rambam. Sometimes Marco wasn't so medayik with his sources. He does that a couple of times. He'll misquote a pasuk. It's not such a rare occurrence with Rav Chaim Vital. He will be able. Yeah, understand when he was writing it. Sometimes he would write it. They would write it fast. A mashik atu bagmara doesn't necessarily mean bagmara. Could be it means by rishonim. That's a very. That's also not a far fetched idea. They had a different gear stuff. But whatever the case is, still bitlu. They were mevatel. To say a certain thing wrote in during Sfila, correct or incorrect? Anything. That's it. Uh, okay, the next one is going to talk about saying Brachot HaShachar at Chatzot. Blee and we'll do it next week, okay?